Hey guys, welcome back to Small Talk, Small Conversations with Huge Impact. My name is Alec Cuenca and I'm your host. And before anything else, I would like to greet each and every one of you. Welcome back to the show. If this is your first time, then I hope that you enjoy this episode. If you are an avid listener of the podcast, then I hope you uh, enjoy this one and share this with your friends. Share this on your IG, uh, Instagram, because you are the main reason why we are growing so fast. So welcome back to the show. And I may not sound as excited as I am today because I'm, you know, feeling under the weather, but I still want to show up. I still want to create an episode for you guys. And I just wanted to create this quick episode on how we can learn from Hidalin Diaz's success. Now, if you don't know, the Philippines have the Philippines has won their first ever gold medal Olympics. Yes in the history since the beginning of time since the, be- the the olympics was founded was created this is the first ever gold that we have seen for the country and it is all because of the weightlifting master hidelin diaz and there's, uh, you know, as we've seen from social media, we've seen her success. We've seen a lot of memes. We've seen a lot of um, stories behind the scenes and all the other stuff that connects to Hidden Diaz. But if we took a deep dive on what we can learn from it, we can actually learn a lot from this story. And the reason why this is so inspirational, because this encapsulate, encapsulates the journey of a Filipino or a Filipina that has that had a dream. You know, it's thought, it all started with a dream, and they, and she made it come true. It all started with a dream, and she made it come true. And if anything else, I think that's the one that we should be proud of. It's defying the odds. It's beating every single challenging challenges and making sure that. She will get to the top. She will see success no matter what. But besides the success, and I know you've seen it from a lot of the posts as well on social media, there are a lot of struggles along the way. And so we are going to talk about the five lessons we can learn from Hidelin Diaz's success. Starting with number one, I think the first lesson that we can get out of it is that Everybody needs a team. One of the, actually, Hidlin Diaz said in an interview that what drives me is Team HD because really I won't survive this pandemic without them. It's been a roller coaster ride, she said. And she also said that, kasi nga, gagawin ko lahat, baka maubos time ko sa kaka-research kung paano mag-progress sa sport na ito. Now, to give you a background, Team HD is Team Hidalin Diaz and it includes her nutritionist, it includes her sports psychologist, it includes her weightlifting coach, and it includes her strength and condition- conditioning coach. They have a solid lineup of different expertise to help Hidalin Diaz on her quest to the gold medal. Now, I know a lot of people, you know, we've heard this quote a lot of times. If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go with a team. But I think there's um, a bit of confusion there. I think you can go fast and far if you have an amazing team. The reason why they the the quote, you know, that quote worked or that quote was true is because the team is basically um, slowing you down. It's hard to move with a lot of moving pieces. But if we think about it, we can actually go fast because we can outsource or we can delegate the different tasks that we need for us to be able to be successful to different people that has that corresponds to their certain strengths. I uh, recently uh, talked to Jason Law and about her four 
personality types and how we could able to understand these personality types and how we could able to work with them. And I also believe that, you know, having the, the strengths finder exam, basically you learn about your strengths there. And then once you learn it, you then learn how you could work with other people's strengths. Because we all have weaknesses. We may admit it or not, we all have weaknesses. And so if we understand that instead of focusing on our weakness, we could hire someone to help us with our weakness and then we could focus on our, our strength, right? So this well-rounded team helped Hidalin Diaz to success. And so if we want to achieve this kind of success as well, we need to have a team. We need to have people or I, I'd like to say this, a mastermind. A mastermind is a group of people that um, collaborates amazing ideas and just shares insights, shares value towards a certain group. Um, it can be two people, three people, five people, or you know, maximum 10 people. But the, max, the, the mastermind are people who are towards the same goal and just pushes each other to be better. Everyone needs that. Everyone um, kailangan yun. Um, akala ko noon na if you're an alpha wolf, you're an alpha male, you should be able to do it all, all your own. But if you have a team that is working towards the same goal, you'll actually become faster. Kasi yung mga bagay na hindi mo na dapat iniisip, hindi mo na iisipin. Makakapag-focus ka na sa mga bagay na dapat mong pag-focusan. So, find people that can hold you accountable. Find people that can support you and find people who can bring value to the goal or to your progress so that you can achieve your goal faster and you can reach the longest goals that you have. So that's the first one. The second one is you don't wait for your resources to change. We've seen it. Um, Hidalin Diaz actually posted on Instagram na, is it okay if we ask funds from the private sector? Kasi hirap na hirap na ako. Right? And she also posted before na, uh, you want to know like, why we don't have gold medals? It's because the training, um, the equipments in the gym, the equipment in the gym is still the same since the coach of Hidalin Diaz came into that gym. It has never seen any progress in terms of the equipment, in terms of the resources. So she could have ranted out. She could have waited until the gym equipment was better. She, she could have, you know, asked and waited until the government helped her, but she didn't. She said, you know what? I don't really care. If this is what we have right now, this is what we're going to work for. This is gonna what we're gonna work with, okay? So it doesn't matter if the help comes, then great. If it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I will give my one hundred and ten percent every single day. Train myself to be the best version of myself, regardless whether there's help, there's change in the resources or not. A lot of people, a lot of us, are waiting for that change. We're blaming the government. We're asking for change. But we forget that we have a duty to ourselves and to the people around us. And ironically, if we want to change the visible, which is the outside, we must first change the invisible. We must first change what is within. And if we learn how to focus on the duty at hand. Of course, I'm not saying na, alam mo yun, wag mo na subukang baguhin yung mundo. Pero, minsan, mas nababago mo pa yung mundo kapag pinabago mo yung sarili mo. Kasi doon ka mas kapapakinggan ng mundo kapag nabago mo yung sarili mo. Na napakita mo na posible ang pagbabago. Sa isang tao, sa limang tao, sampung tao, kung maabot mo siya sa mas maraming tao. So, you don't, you don't wait for your resources to change. You make it happen. Hindi ka, hindi ka dapat magreklamo, okay? I hate people who complain about their lives, who blame the government, the, 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 their parents, the, the economy, the pandemic. I understand. It's hard. And I'm not saying that they shouldn't do any better. They should. 
But if we're gonna dedicate our time in just complaining and not doing anything, it's gonna be a waste of time. So put it out there. Say you're frustrated with it. Ask, uh, you know, make a petition for the change. But ultimately, give your energy and effort into becoming the change that you want to see in this world. Tama si Idilin Diaz. Okay, ayaw niyo ang tulungan? Gusto niyo ang tulungan? Ayaw niyo ang tulungan? Na-red tag pa daw siya. I don't know if that's true. But she didn't give, she didn't really give a shit. She made sure that she was focused on her, ho- on her goal and she made it happen. Ganun lang ginawa niya. So we shouldn't just, you know, wait for the resources. We should ask for more resources. But more importantly, we need to ask for more wisdom for us to use the resources that we have. More strength and more patience for us to use the equipments and the resources that we had, we have until we get the better resources that we can get. Okay, so that's the second one. The third one is failure is a part of progress, not the opposite of it. A lot of people, uh, in isip natin, failure is the opposite of success. No, it's not. As we've seen, we actually saw from Hidalin Diaz that it took her four attempts before she actually got it. Hey guys, before we proceed to the rest of the episode, I just want to share something that I discovered recently. I am a firm believer that we need to protect ourselves and our data online. We need to securely access different apps, different websites, different entertainment services as we browse across the internet. And a good thing that I learned about NordVPN. NordVPN makes sure that all of our data stays safe behind a wall of next generation encryption. It's the fastest VPN. We don't need to sacrifice speed for better security. It also offers uninterrupted streaming and you can use it on multiple devices. We partnered with NordVPN through Podmetrics for you guys to also enjoy the same experience. They have an amazing promo right now that allows you to get 73% off of the two-year plan plus four months free when you use our link in the description and code before checking out. They also offer a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Sign up for a NordVPN account now. When she um, participated in 2008, she was second to the last. In 2012, she did not fin. She did not finish. She didn't even got a placement. In 2016, she had a silver medal. And in 2000, 2021, she had a gold medal. Now, if she thought that failure is the opposite of success then she would say that, okay, I failed. Let me just stop right here, and I failed. No. She knew that failure was a part of success, a part of it. So every time she was hit with a roadblock, every time she could not raise the bar on top of her head, she would say, okay, this is a part of my success. This would just make my story sweeter and if we could all think like that that every time we fail every time we do not achieve our goals every time we hit a challenge or struggle in our lives we would say now okay this is a part of my success wouldn't that be a very positive mental attitude and we would be able to push forward we would be able to better ourselves because we could accept that failure is a part of success it's not the opposite of it a lot of us get so discouraged when we see failure in our lives. But I personally, I love failing. Why? Because if we fail, then there's a clear path on what we need to improve on. If I make mistakes, I make sure that I don't make it. I mo- I don't make the same mistakes twice. But the first time that I make a mistake, I love it because okay, now I know better because I failed, because I made a mistake. And it just makes the story sweeter. 
it just makes the story more awesome. To see, I think there's so much fulfillment in knowing that you've grown so much. And you can only grow so much if you see that you've you came or you've you were once a failure, quote unquote failure, and now you're your success. But you won't get there. You won't get to success if you think failure is the opposite of success. You, if you must think and accept that failure is a part of success. It's like the law of polarity. It's like you have a coin and you have heads and, and tails on it. So every time you flip it, you might it might land on heads, right? So every time we see the heads, that's success. But we don't see the failure that's a part of it, right? And at the same time, when we flip the coin, it lands on tails. We see, we see failure, but we don't see that success in, is underneath that failure. It's actually awaiting on the other side. We just need to flip it more than once until we see that success. Always remember, failure is a part of success. It's not the opposite of it. Well, that's the third one. And um, the fourth lesson that we can learn from Hidalin Dia success is just because it has never been done doesn't mean it's impossible. If she went on to see that, oh, I think it's impossible that we could win this. Do you think she would have given everything that she got? Do you think she would have trained herself relentlessly every single day? No, she came into this sport knowing that it is possible for us to get that gold medal. Just because the people from the past haven't done it done it yet doesn't mean it's impossible. Maybe the reason why it's it was not done done yet because we lacked information, we lack support, we lack that person who really pushed through and made it happen. And if we've seen it, we've seen it a lot of times in the track of humanity. Nobody has ever stepped on the moon until Neil Armstrong did it. Nobody said we could fly until the Wright brothers created an airplane. Nobody said that we would have computers in all the households in the world until Steve Jobs did it. Did it. Nobody said that we could create the biggest church in the world. Not until faith Jesus did it. Just because it has never been done doesn't mean it's impossible. And I want everyone to have a dream right now to look at Hidalin Diaz. He did not just settle for a dream that was too low. You know, I really love this quote by Michelangelo. It says that, the danger is not aiming too high and miss. It's when you aim too low and achieve it. Maybe the reason why we didn't have any success, we didn't see any success before, is because we've always aimed to be at least a part of the Olympics. We didn't really see ourselves as one of the best to ever do it. But Hidalin Diaz said no. If it hasn't been done yet, then I'm I'm gonna be the first one to do it. And those people will leave a legacy that will be remembered forever. I'd like to call them the outliers, game changers, the trailblazers, the people who were who were told you're crazy for having this idea. You're crazy for thinking that it's possible. And they actually did it. It just allows people, especially dreamers like me, to push through, to believe that it could happen. And I hope you see that as well. And the last lesson that we can learn from Hidalin Diaz's success is that through him, anything is possible. Through absolute faith, it is possible. She actually posted on her um, Facebook page. She said, Kung ako lang ito, di ko ito magagawa. Parang imposible. Salamat God sa pagbadala ng mga tao. 
government support, private support, pamilya, kaibigan, at prayer warriors para magawa ko ito at maging posible. Jesus looked at them and said, With man, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Now, I'm no expert in the Bible. But I really believe that if we have an absolute faith that it can happen, that it will happen, eventually the universe aligns for us to achieve the dreams that we have. The universe conspires for your dreams. If you just really know what you want, if you're definite about your purpose, if it's guided by a plan, if it's backed up by a burning desire, you can make it happen. And also, and more importantly, you have faith. You have absolute faith that this could happen. She didn't know when, she didn't know how, but she knew that it is possible because she had God. She had her faith backing her up every single time. Everyone everyone doubts. Someone doubts or even herself doubts her. She had her faith to back her up. Her up. So always remember when times are hard and you don't know whether you can or you can't, always remember, always ask yourself, where's my faith? Because if we know that our faith can actually move mountains, I, uh, it can change your life. Right? They say it only takes a little faith to move mountains. Well, that's good because sometimes a little faith is all we have, right? That's, that's a song. I know. I know it's a song, but I really just wanted to say it. It's because that's been my testimony as well in life. Like I've been able to see the impossible become possible because of my faith. And I hope that you guys, before you actually want to see success, need to have faith. You need to give back as well. I really heard that the first thing that she would do was schedule her tights. Just give back to the community, to the church. And that's just a generous thing to do. And I think God will bless her more because of the success that she had and the generous heart she has. So yeah, those are the five lessons that we can learn from Hidalin Diaz's success. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you do, go ahead and tag me on Small Talk Podcast on Instagram at Small Talk Podcast and let me know what's your lesson from Hidalin Diaz's success. So again, thank you guys for joining. Uh, again, I have a weekly live training every single week. If you want to be a part of that, go to bit.ly slash the better me project. Capital lahat ng first letter of every of word every word, and if you want to join my TikTok workshop, I have a TikTok workshop coming on August 14. So if you want to learn more about TikTok, I will teach you everything that you need to know for your brand or business to be on TikTok. I'll be happy to help you out. Go to bit.ly/tiktok zero to one hundred k. So I hope you go you go join us there. And again, thank you guys so much for listening. This is Alec Cuenca. This is Small Talk, Small Conversations with huge impact. And I will talk to you guys next episode. Bye-bye.